Hi, my name is Sina Jawal Koshtel and I'm the product manager of Slide 2 and Slide 3 software. In this video, I'm going to talk about groundwater seepage analysis option in the Slide 2 software. Slide 2 has different options for groundwater analysis, including water table, simple RU method, and if you have data, you can use the grid approach in the Slide 2 software. Also, we have the finite element or numerical method to do the seepage analysis in the Slide 2 software as well. Using this option, you can carry out a steady state and transient seepage analysis and calculate pore water pressure or other parameters related to the groundwater analysis in the Slide 2 software. Today, I'm going to show you an example which has the initial condition of a steady state and then you can carry out the transient seepage analysis for a drawdown in a dam. Also, I included the slope stability analysis in this example. Let's look at the example. Here is the dam model and I'm going to activate the groundwater seepage analysis. So we go to the analysis, project settings, the groundwater menu, you can see different options for the groundwater analysis, including a steady state finite element analysis. Let's click on this. Also for this model, we are going to do the transient groundwater analysis as well. So I'm going to activate the advanced setting as well. When you define the transient groundwater, you need to define the stages in the transient tab. So we go here and we have two stages, it's two days and 10 days stages. Click on OK. Now you can see two different tabs being created at the bottom of this screen. A steady state groundwater and transient groundwater. We go to the steady state groundwater. Now the first step would be to define the mesh for this model since this is a numerical analysis. So we go to the mesh, mesh setup. The default is 3 nodes and 1500, so we change it to 6000 to have a finer mesh. Click on discretize and mesh. So this is our mesh. After defining the mesh, we go and apply the boundary conditions. So we go to the mesh menu, set boundary conditions. We want to define a head of 800 feet. So we define the head. Click on the segments and click on apply. You can see that 800 feet of groundwater is defined the steady state tab. Close here. Then we go to the transient tab. Since we want to model a drawdown case, we have to define a function for the transient boundary condition. So we go to the mesh again. This time we click on set transient boundary conditions. We define a new function. In our new function, for the time, we define zero. And our initial boundary condition is 800 total head. Then, after two days, we're going to drop it to 600. And that would be our function. Then, hit OK. Select the same boundaries as the boundaries you selected for the steady state condition and click on apply. You can see that this is going to be your final level of the water. Close. If you go to the slope stability tab, you can see this line which shows the drawdown case in the transient boundary condition. When you want to do the seepage analysis, you need to define your hydraulic properties of the materials as well. So we go to the properties, define hydraulic properties. For this model, for the shell, you can see that we have a high hydraulic conductivity. And for the core, we have a very low hydraulic conductivity, which is basically impermeable. And for the concrete as well. And the transition is between shell and the core. So these parameters are defined. Now, if you click on this blue compute, it only computes the seepage analysis. But if you go to the slope stability tab and click on this orange compute, it's going to compute the seepage first and then it's going to compute the slope stability analysis. So since we want to look at the seepage and the slope stability, we will compute here. We will save the model and compute. 
First, the C page compute dialog will show up, as you can see here. And then it goes to the slope stability compute dialog, which uses the pore water pressures calculated using the C page engine in the slope stability analysis. The compute is done. Now we go to the analysis interpret to look at the results. The results will be the combination of a slope stability results and also the pore pressure, which is coming from the transient analysis results. You can always toggle between two. So basically you can turn off the slope stability or turn on the slope stability and turn off the groundwater results. Let's look at them at the same time. So we defined two stages which were for transient analysis when we have our initial stage which was for the steady state analysis. So for the steady state condition, we get the factor of safety of 1.76. And you can see that this is the phreatic surface and basically the core of the dam doesn't allow the water to pass it. So the water goes along the core and goes out. Then after the drawdown, after two days, factor of safety drops to 1.57 because of this removal of the water from here. The ponded water is removed and the factor of safety is dropped. Then after 10 days, if you look at the phreatic surface, you can see that it is horizontal and we reach to the steady state condition again. So if we go from the beginning, we have a steady state, drop of the water, which reduces the factor of safety, and then go back to the steady state condition, which increases the factor of safety, but for the new water level. Keep in mind, for the seepage analysis, if you want to look at different types of data, you have different options. For example, you can look at the pressure head, you can look at total head, pore pressure, and you can look at different values of the pore pressure uh, using this ledger. Also, you can look at the pore water pressure for your critical slip surfaces, and you can see by clicking here, you can look at the pore water pressure coming from the seepage analysis in your slices. This is the pore pressure coming from the seepage analysis for each slice. Also, you can look at the values along the surface and you can look at the pore pressure coming from the seepage analysis along your critical slip surface. In this video, I showed you a slope stability analysis of a case of a drawdown of a dam considering a transient seepage analysis. If you have any questions, please write your comments below. Thank you.